All right, I know that I'm talking about this game late in the process, but it's Penn State and Michigan. This is a game of undefeateds at the big house. This is going to be a ton of fun here. A game at noon Eastern. I wish that the game was even later at like 4 o'clock. It was a little bit in prime time or even at night in the big house. The game deserves to be an 8 o'clock game at night. I don't care if nobody watches it because, uh, you know, the, the reason that it's at noon is because everybody in the mornings is kind of able to watch it before they go out for their day or before they go out at night so Fox makes more money. But for the students of Michigan, I want there to be an awesome tailgating scene. And I love how ABC still has night games but foxes and the big 10 is all in the mornings here so it's gonna be a big game um penn state at michigan or michigan yeah penn state at michigan um penn state this year has just been great nick singleton their other freshman running back they have a freshman running back tandem that is fantastic they've gone to auburn and one they've gone to purdue which is a very tough place to play and they've won that game so penn state this year um they've had some big time wins beating auburn is uh even though auburn is not classic auburn even though auburn has really struggled at home the fact that they were able to blow them out at jordan hare in that environment it's very very impressive for penn state so i like what penn state is doing this year you have two quarterbacks in sean clifford and jj mccarthy that are very very untested mccarthy definitely mccarthy has more talent um, but ironically at the college level right now, this is Clifford's sixth year. He's seen so much that I believe that the quarterback battle is very, very close. And I believe that the running, the running game, Nick Singleton and the other back, I think Penn state has a better rushing attack than Michigan. And also Michigan hasn't been tested. They haven't been tested at all out of conference. I talked about at Penn state's beaten Purdue, I've talked about how Penn State's beaten Ohio even at home. Michigan has played nobody of any note. Their biggest win is against a Maryland team that is that is pretty flawed, and that game was at home. So I know that this game is again at home, but Michigan hasn't faced a dynamic offense like Penn State, whereas Penn State has played really good offenses. Penn State's played Purdue and Aiden O'Connell. So Penn State has played good offensive teams. Even Auburn has a lot of offensive talent with Tank Bigsby, who's one of the best backs in the country. So Penn State is battle-tested. They're a better football team right now. Penn State is legit. I have this game being really low-scoring, all right, because both teams are going to stop the run, but both teams are going to try to run the ball. And I honestly see Penn State getting McCarthy to turn the ball over. McCarthy's too young for this moment in this game. So, um, again, Michigan hasn't been tested. They haven't been punched in the mouth. There's been no adversity for this Michigan football team where Penn State was on the ropes at Purdue, and Penn State, um, again, has um, – has just played great all year. And, and Michigan, in fairness to them, has played well, but Iowa isn't the same Iowa, okay? I know Iowa has, like, a decent defense, but Iowa's offense is not the same level that Penn State had to play when Penn State had to play Purdue at the beginning of the season. So Penn State's defense is, is great in every category. So is Michigan's defense. That's why it's going to be an absolute slugfest. But seven points is just absolutely a, absurd for the home team. They're considering Michigan as a four-point better team, and they're considering Michigan with the home field. Penn State's going to weather that home field because they're so physical. They have so much talent on the defensive side of the ball. I really see Penn State as a legit threat to Ohio State this year in the Big Ten East and in the Big Ten in general. I'm taking Penn State here. I know the over-under is 50 points, so I'm going under. I'm taking Penn State. Oh, boy. Um, I might take them. Give me 26 Give me 26 to 17 Penn State. Uh, Nine-point win, low-scoring game at the big house. Give me Penn State 26 to, six, to, to 17. Penn State's going to win this game by about nine points. I really like Penn State here. Sean Clifford is the big question mark. Can they protect him, and will he just not turn the ball over and play horribly? 
and Nick Singleton and that rushing attack, that is the key. Singleton needs to touch this ball 25 times. You can rest him going forward against other opponents. This is the biggest game of his career. This is the biggest game in James Franklin, his coaching career, because Penn State really has a shot at the college football playoff. You lose one game at Ohio State and you play well, you're going to be right there in the college football playoff discussion. And if you beat the, and if you win this game, you have a wonderful chance to go undefeated the rest of the way. Um, I know Minnesota will be tough next week. Big letdown spot for Penn State. Um, but yeah, this game against Michigan, I think Penn State is just primed and ready to roll in this game in Ann Arbor. I think they're going to play great.